Hi, I'm Dave McLean. I'm the Vice President here at Our Home in Miniature Land, one of Toronto's next great tourist attractions. It's something that's been underway for about four years, actually. Um, my business partner and I, uh, his name is Jean-Louis Brenningmeyer, uh, started this idea, or he started this idea and uh, four years ago. Uh, started looking for people to help him out, uh, fulfill his, uh, his idea about creating a vast miniature world that would feature uh, scenes of uh, Canada. Hi, my name is David Demansky. I'm a designer here at Our Home in Miniature Land. What we do is basically take um, the design of the exhibits, which we can take them from an urban planning perspective, right down to the architectural design, and then the fine-tuning of the architectural design. The basis of the project is a scale of 1 to 87, which is based off of the trains and all of the um, other products that can be bought in the hobby industry, such as the figures and the cars and other structures. So far we've done the uh, City of Toronto and also featuring the City of Hamilton. Uh, in the City of Toronto you'll see uh, familiar things such as the CN Tower, Rogers Centre, uh, all the high-rise structures. One of the things uh, that uh, helped us along greatly, of course, is having uh, the, the use of a high-quality laser device, such as the Trotec machine here, and uh, it's, been, uh, it's been a great tool that uh, has really enabled us to, to make it happen. Without it, um, it just, the city couldn't have looked uh, as spectacular as it, as it does. Yeah, one of the key components that we uh, realized when we started the, the project was that we needed a, a machine that would be able to quick, quickly create um, all sorts of interesting designs in both wood and plastic. Um, a laser engraver was the obvious choice. We did some research, um, did some market analysis and decided that the Trotec machine was the, the right one for us. Uh, we use the machine to cut, engrave, and etch. So this is a good example of all three, which was done recently. Canadian Tire, you can see all of the signs and the pieces have been cut out with the laser, as well as etching the lines for the patterns of the finish of the building here as well, for the uh, prefabricated panels we're presenting. But then we also sometimes can use the engraving function to do feature walls such as this to give a uh, more textured and more realistic uh, impression. One of the ideas we came up with, um, having a desire to have a working streetcar system, I mean, you can't do Toronto without having a working streetcar, was to use the laser to actually, you know, in the acrylic, we actually just cut grooves in the acrylic that match the, um, the wheel sets of the, the streetcar. So when the streetcar is powered, and this one's not, um, but you can see that it'll just follow the, the curve of the road, uh, or the curve of the streetcar rails here itself. So it's a really valuable, interesting way to, to use the acrylic. And even what we decided determined too, also, since it's all done on the computer, um, that if this ever wore out, you might get a little bit of wear and tear, the thousands of uh, passages of a streetcar, we can just reprint the, uh, the piece of plastic, the acrylic, and put it back in, put a new piece in. So uh, new and interesting ways to use a laser. Uh, we think about what kind, of t what kind of materials we will make it out of, and what tools we could use in order to make it. And um, the Speedy 100, the Trolltech laser cutter, is uh, one of our biggest tools. I mean, now, um, sometimes you might think of making, cutting with an X-Acto knife or plastics and things like that. It would take a very long time. And from using this at the beginning, uh, it became very apparent, instead of asking, wondering, kind of approaching the, the building as to what tool would you use to make it, um, now we approach it with the uh, how are we going to make it on the laser? 